no! Oh, they didn't fix that. All right, yeah, well... Hi guys, this is Mathias coming at you here with my first video from the second alpha test of Battlefield 5. And no, they did not fix that weird bug where a plane explodes if it flies a little bit too far outside of that resupply uh, area. Fact of the matter is, I don't think DICE have made that many changes to the game since the first alpha, at least not as far as I know. Now, I do apologize for the fact that I haven't done all that much research into this game ahead of time. I have been super busy since I just recently came home from my one-month vacation in the Philippines. Now, in the first few hours that I played this, everything felt super weird again, and I realized after a while, I should have realized earlier, that the problem was my aim down sight sensitivity that just simply was too high. For the most part in this video you'll see me playing with this and I'm having some really hard time adapting. A few hours into the stream I did fix it though and uh, things became a lot better. Now what you see here is me playing actually some operations or grand operations and during the first alpha I almost didn't play any operations at all and the problem of course was performance. I have a lot uh, worse performance, or at least last time I had a lot worse performance playing Operations than Conquest. This time, either DICE has fixed it, or there was just, I don't know, maybe I just didn't feel it the same way, maybe it's just imagination, but I felt like my performance didn't suffer as much this time around. Now, as you can probably tell, uh, the game hasn't changed much, it's the same map, we're using the same weapons, I'm using the same playstyle, uh, well, basically at, at least. Uh, one of the things that did change, however, was that the, they did nerf the default weapon, the STG, of the Assault class. And, uh, well, that just gives me another reason to stick to this uh, Medic class and this Medic weapon. You can see I'm actually getting a quite a nice killstreak here, defending A. <laughs> ah! What? I can't kill him! Now, so far, the reactions uh, to this game has not changed much in my experience. So far, I haven't seen much enthusiasm from uh, my viewers, whether it's on YouTube or on Twitch. There are, of course, a few guys that are super hyped, but uh, a lot fewer than I would have first expected. And this is something that didn't change either this time around. There was definitely a guy here. A few of the things that I'm sure you have noticed and uh, that uh, a lot of people have reacted on is, uh, first and foremost, the new revive animation. And I have covered it quite a bit from uh, the first alpha, and I don't like it all that much. Funny as it is, though, this time around it didn't affect my gameplay nearly as much as it did the first time. Maybe I just learned to adapt to it. Oh, shit! But then again, you'll also notice that there are many situations where I actually feel like I have to skip, or should I say ignore, teammates that I possibly could revive, I just feel that it's too risky. And this has caused quite a lot of irritation, as you can see in the chat from time to time, a lot of players are really really disappointed with the medics in Battlefield 5, but it has its explanations why medics many times just don't go for revives. I am no exception. Here's one of those examples where I feel like those guys I just can't revive. This time it's a big tank that is uh, coming my way. And it, I would have been in line of sight of the tank, as would the guys uh, that I would have revived had I gone for it. So after this engagement here, we'll go back to conquest a little bit. And I'll share uh, some of the things that's happening here and also a little bit of my line of thought. 
Right here, I'm approaching a sniper and I don't want to take the fight at too long range. Luckily, I had two of those smoke grenades that I used in order to approach without being seen. And here I want to take a look at the lower right side corner. It says 30 and then a small zero. And now there you see how that small zero turned into 12. That means that I picked up 12 bullets from the loot that was dropped by the scout that I just killed. Now if you didn't know it, it is a new feature in Battlefield 5 that you're able to loot the players that you killed either for medkits, for health or for ammo. Now what is also new or should I say different from Battlefield 1 are ammo and health stations. Here you see them. Uh, both of them are uh, at the same place which is the normal case. Sometimes they are a bit apart. Now, while playing Battlefield 1, recently I've also started using smoke, especially <coughs> for my support class. But in Battlefield 5, the smoke doesn't really, or the smoke grenades, as you say, they don't resupply as fast, even if you throw them and then get resupplied by either a support player or by an ammo station. So keep that in mind, I sometimes am rather sloppy with my smoke grenades. I just spam them, just because that's how I normally do it in Battlefield 1. What I realize uh, playing Medic in Battlefield 5 is that I do many times end up without my smoke grenades in situations where I really need them. So now a lot of people have been asking also, how does the weapons feel, and especially how do they feel compared to Battlefield 1? Now personally, it's not that big of a difference. It's definitely not so that you have to like relearn anything. If you're used to the weapons in Battlefield 1, you will very quickly get used to the weapons in Battlefield 5. And yes, it goes both for the aim down sights and for the hip fire. Oh, At least, that's my experience. So now another thing that I'd like to mention that I think might have a bit of a negative effect on this game is camping inside of houses. And of course it's kind of cool that there are so many houses uh, which adds a lot of details to the maps. But the one thing that I think is a bit negative about it is that the contrast between outside and inside is a little bit too much. I don't really know why the insides of houses have to be so dark. In my experience, that's not particularly realistic. If I look into a house during broad daylight, I normally don't have a hard time seeing what's inside. Not that I normally peek into people's houses, of course. <laughs> now I realize that sounded a little bit creepy. And yeah, before I forget it, also remember that if you are medic, you have a specific self-heal feature that triggers an animation if you hold in whatever key you have your uh, medic pack on or medic uh, pouch on. By default, or in my case, it's key number 4. So if I have taken damage, I just hold in key 4 and I trigger that self-heal animation. You see it right here and there I start regenerating right away. Also I want to mention that uh, despite the fact that I did use almost exclusively this weapon for the medic class, I am going to show you a little bit of other weapons soon as well. Keep in mind that this is not the default weapon of the medic class, instead it is a self-loading weapon, a 10 bullet semi-automatic weapon that is very similar to almost all the weapons of the medic class in Battlefield 1. You see me use it soon here. Whoa. No. So I'll continue using this weapon up until about the 14 minute mark of the video. After that it will change it a bit again and we'll start uh, seeing some shorter clips and some reactions. A lot of them are initial reactions, don't take them too seriously. Many times it might sound like I'm complaining about the game as if I knew that there was something wrong with it. Of course it's most likely just me who don't understand the game mechanics yet. I don't have that much experience, needless to say, with Battlefield 5 yet. And even if there is actually something wrong with the game then yes, it is alpha, so it is to be expected. Initial reactions is just that, initial reactions, and I hope you don't take mine too seriously. So yeah, a rather long Battlefield 5 video, I really hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Yeah,
Where are they? Fix yourself with that! How did they come? Get fixed with that, soldier! Ah, uh, soldier! Is it three shots at all distances really? I it's not four at longer range? Thank you. We got one kill. Ah, I can't see where he's going there. There. Okay, my weapon is gone again? Yeah, my weapon is gone again. I didn't fix that bug. Objective Charlie. 
weird. There's some first aid for you. How did I? Oh, I hold Pick in four. That. Ah, that's how it was. Use the smoke and get that fucking tank. Come on, what? That doesn't always work so well. Okay, they didn't fix this either. Where it just jumps pixels when you move. That was a little bit too many. Have this first aid. I could not help you guys. Oh my god, it's fucking weird aiming. No. Uh, aim down sight sensitivity is weird. Oh, he was gonna blow me up with C4, I think. Attention! Objective Charlie has been lost. lost. That weapon is much better at range than mine. I got him. Again. Jump in there, okay. First aid short. more guys.
beacon. Ah, that's... Oh, there was another one! Why can't I fucking re It doesn't really work that well. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Oh, 99 damage. I was actually going for that revive, but yes, have would have most likely job. killed me. Ah, fuck, there's too many. Ah, oh, we killed each other. 